Aphrodite, Artemis. I'm none of those, but I am Cassandra. I mean, hunting parties can be gone for war. The fight between... I haven't heard of the sons of Xerxes. That's quite the name. Persians left over from the Battle of... I would not trade our own. Do you deal in advice? There is no easy answer. I can't bring back the men, or stop the sons... I'll look for the missing hunters. My cat. Thank you for saving me. Those bastards! Those bastards! Are you all right? Do I look all right? You survived. It's more than we can say for your companions. That was our... And I need to see her. You've returned. What news of Agnodeki and the hunters? Magistrate Perictioni. I have grave news. The sons of Xerxes are preparing to strike. Oh, it's you. Magistrate, this Mistio saved me from... For double the... Finally. Uh, it was... The only language the sons... Mistios. I'll do what... Good. Good to see you. Yours too. Lalea is the daughter. Thea, right? Perry would die. Her destruction has a... And now we... Your sister says... I'm ready. Hey! I told you not to go easy on me. You... <sighs> well... That was humble. The sons of Zed? No. Sounds like she's... <laughs> now you're... One can only... I seem to recall the legend saying that Andromeda was nude and tied to a rock. Was she? I'll have to remember that the next time I'm reenacting the myth. Lalea has a rich heritage for theater, though not so much for fighting. Spartan women are taught to keep up with Spartan men. Lalea seems different. It is an oversight that I've been pushing to co And now that the hunters... We're more exposed to attack... I've seen kings and commanders. You share their temperament. Perry married the governor. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right. But it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith. But his daughter is still here. What about the hunters you lost? We need to train replace. I've run into... I won't pr... Who should I train? I've met with... Not sure how... Met the Aldosan. Who should I try? I've met... I'll get to it. Tell me to... Oh! Who are... The mercenary hire... Oh! I don't. Oh? I thought you were the... I'm not the villain. Are you the only... I'll know when the men... Re... Is there any way... <sighs> You look capable. There's a difference. You look capable. There's a... What kind of ore? What? My pater used... How did the ore get its... The legend says, Ephestos. Where can I find the ore? It's hard to... Sounds like you've I been there before. I told you. I'll bring back a... F Where... I am. Well, we know how to... That's a start. We're ready. Yes. Get... Tell me about Lalea. We've been blessed by both the waters of Kephisos and by Aphrodite herself. For she is the source of all beauty. All settlements need to be near water. Ours just has a lot. And you fish in the pools and river? Kephisos provides us with what we need. Not enough in there to provide for all of Lalea. That's why we need you. With the sons of Xerxes so close, is there less game around? We've been relying more on fish and fruit. It's enough for now. Animals don't scream and beg for mercy the way humans do. I doubt they interest the sons of Xerxes as much. There's still food. Perhaps their numbers aren't as high as we think. They may not have enough archers to black out the sun with arrows, but they do have enough to fill every citizen of Lalea with holes. Oh, here we are. Great 
to live nearby. Don't mention the bear. I'm already regretting that. When fighting bears, keep an eye out for when it gets angry. Then you need to run the other way. Don't damage the rest of the map. That should be enough. Hey! I can see why this ore is named for Aphrodite. I found the ore. Amazing. I'll ready the molds. Will that be enough for the village? It should be a good start. You and the rest... I'm just one smith. Weapons can be improvised. Oh. Yes, you're right. Uh. Hello? The traditional welcome of the daughters of Artemis. You are the eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, and leader of the daughters of Artemis. I earned the title by defeating Daphne. I've come to ask for your help. The village near here is under siege by the sons of Xerxes. We follow Daphne. We do not follow you. You are a brute and a thug. Great leaders aren't measured by the piles of bodies at their feet, but by the help they give others. Without the sword and spear of my grandfather, King Leonidas, this coast would belong to the Persians. Great leaders protect us from invasion, no matter the price in blood. A great leader also provides for their people. Daphne always kept us in meat and shelter. You kill animals for trophies. Like the god you champion, you are selfish. Why would we trust you? If Artemis found me unworthy, I would not have returned with the pelts of the Nemean lion or Callisto the bear. If anything, this proves me more Artemis' champion than Zeus's. Why do you care about this village, and why do you expect our sympathy? What do we stand to gain from this? The women of Lalea have food and shelter, but are not prepared to defend themselves from raiding bandits. An alliance benefits you both. Power radiates off you the same way it did Daphne. I can see now why you carry her title. If Telesila, join me! I yield! You have proven yourself worthy of your titles. My warriors and I are yours. You fought well. You know the direction of Lalea, yes? Of course. We'll gather our things and join you there. I expect to see you defending Lalea when the sons of Xerxes attack. Yes, champion. I've done all I can for these women. Time to get back to Perictione. Eagle, but I've just spoken with... Scott. That's what I've been telling Perry! We need to... If everyone dies in battle... There will be no village left to defend. Agnoviki's... What did Agnoviki find? Why are these scouts... What if we're away and... We need to deal with... Which do we focus... I'll take care of the scouts. The last thing we need is an ambush. If you've chosen wrong, we'll be exposed with nothing to show for it. I'll see you when it's... What is it? May the gods... Destroying the castles is strategic. Wandering through the woods looking for scouts is a waste of time. That's all of them. Better get back to Lalea. I hunted them. <sighs> I still worry about them overcoming our... How prepared are we? We are under attack. Thea and her worry. As prepared as we're going to be. This way! They've got us pinned against the rocks! Oh, attack! Oh, we've got trouble!
can't believe we did it. Here. The extra bows. I'm sure they were happy. We killed them. How? I'm glad it's over. Uh, Perry? Perry! Over there. Perry! Thea. I'm here. It's okay. It's over. We beat them back. You protected my city. We protected it. I don't know how. I can think of a few ways I can... Really? You... Later, then. Gratitude, Mistios. He... My grandfather died not too far from here. I'm glad... Cassandra, if you could come see me before you leave, I'll be by the waterfall. And now the work of... Re it's good to see all this beauty at peace. Hmm. And for years to come, thanks to you. I can't promise you peace. But you did give us the tools to preserve it. So, what kind of reward did you have in mind? My first thoughts were of getting you out of those clothes. If that's the first thought, I can't wait to see how the second and third thoughts go. Oh, there won't be much thinking. But there will be seconds and thirds. What will you do now? With everything taken care of, I'm free to do what I want. A list that includes spending more time with you. Even when your men do return, I get the feeling they'll need you to help defend Lalea. They'll have to listen to me now that you've shown me that kick. Still, I'll miss you. Thank you for your help with the Sons of Xerxes. My, my, is that Cassandra of Aiyad? The... Elki Bial. My young friend. You would have my eternal... I'd like to know more... I'm Orchimedes. I came to Alcibiades because... I'm a Mystios. Nonsense. What's the job? Have you ever heard of... The name sounds from... Who is she? Oh, nonsense. Of course. No ordinary flower we... I come to this co... I'll return with your... Where can I find... Mm, you would... Say I do get... Back to ca... You mentioned be... I... I've heard enough. Please. You'd be an... I found your coral roses. You're back! That... that's perfect. The roses are perfect. Oh, look at the luster. The fragrance. Now, you must deliver them to her. You came all this way to meet her. Please, I must... I'm not saying any Malaka's poem. That's your... Then I must rehearse. Fine. Okay. Praxila. I have flowers for you from Orchimedes of... somewhere. Did I not tell you to get the wine five minutes ago? <gasps> Cassandra Vaillard, may I introduce... Your Praxila? Didn't expect an aged bard. It would be foolish of me to assume... A... Praxila, this is... Cassandra Kaka, care stone and light alike, lives late... <sighs> It... Look at those shoulders. The poems. I have flowers for you. Well, a coral rose? Huh. It's a gift. Show some gratitude. Where is that serpent girl? I swear her head must be. Mm, I... A haikos is missing. That it. A haikos? A haikos. It... I set it down after. I did see her. We need to. Please. We... This liar. Per se. It's very. Or he made this and... Oh, and he... I'll give it... Is there somewhere... It's a poem? I'll find it. <sighs> Do you know a map? Or he... The Vipers? <sighs> Do you think that? <sighs> Did he have a lot? I didn't see him in... Is the temple of... <sighs> Thank you for... Hope you find the... You're that servant. The one I can explain. 
Or he made this talk to me into it and said he'd use the drachmi to buy my freedom. When we escaped, he said he wanted to bring the life. So, the vi Ma Did they force you? No. They... What? She is. She abandoned me. My father, Achaikos, built the lyre for her as a wedding present. Praxila got what she deserved for... I just wanted her. Or he made this. I... It got broken. Malaga. Approach Praxila at... I need time to... I was able to get... Thank you. Oh... Oh, Cassandra, thwarter of thieves. You need help fix perceptive, too. What can be done to... Crescis has been having this festival not too far away. And since it's been... I can help you. The journey... I'm right behind you. I have many fond memories of this place. I've watched the port grow into a town, and the small gathering of friends grow into a massive festival. It's more home than home. Your true love is a liar, and your home is a poetry festival? You never wanted to settle somewhere? Oh, you sweet young child. My life isn't as simple as you make it out to be. I'm like Zephyros, needing to go where I please. I learned this the hard way. So you care only for yourself? If you only live your life for others, what's the point? You're nothing but a slave. A loyal beast at best. People can get hurt. If I had lived the life expected of me, traditional and domestic, I would have died. Died inside. And like is not, I've thrown myself into the sea. I know what I need. Seems like the festival here is much less formal than the others I've encountered. Yes. Dionysus claimed our offerings to Apollo and granted us the gift of ecstasy. I can see why it would attract people from far and wide. Do not misunderstand. He the... Dimiha, where are you? Who is making all that fuck? Uh, the smell of this... Raxil. High praise come. This idiot? Sadly, there have been many idiots on this journey. I hired this mass. All right. Poor fellows been. But you can fix. Of course I can fix. What materials do you need? I have what I need for the neck. What should I be looking for? Some use bone for the yoke and neck, but. N Those strings don't look like gut. They are. Just soaked for. I've seen some liars with turtles. Not a lot of turtles. What's a yoke? The yoke is the. Sure is. I think we all can. I will return with the materials to repair Haikos. Wolves are fierce animals. I'll gut them for Brazil. Hope these are enough guts for fixing a Haikos. This shell should be perfect for Praxila's liar. That should be enough wood for a new liar. I have everything we need. Excellent. Give it here. Be careful with it. He'll like me better when I'm done. You always were too rough with your fingering. Well, that's the first complaint I've heard about it. There he is. Looking more handsome than ever. <laughs> oh, sh- Thanks for the- I might need some- The Mistyos returns. After all this... Excellent. So we're a tea? After my... I write a hundred poems every night. Do you have any faith? There's one I... The most beautiful... Second art... Then... Sounds not... So! Cucumbers! The sun gives us the fruit of the trees, like the fruit of the lotus. In your poem, you say you leave the sun. Why? <laughs> not me. Avernus. He is being asked upon death about the most beautiful things he's left behind. To me, there is no greater beauty than that of the sun and the moon and stars. Oh! Why is he being asked this? Adonis is beauty incarnate. What could be so beautiful that even he would be pain to leave? I see. It looks like we've made it. Praxila! I heard she was coming this year. Praxila! I've been reciting this. I couldn't. Nonsense. How about... The most beautiful thing I leave. 
is the light of the moon. Wow! Is this a new version? Second are the shining eyes and face of my lover. Oh, that's so romantic! Is it a new variation? Then, ripe peaches, figs, and pomegranates, too. I love this new interpretation. Cassandra, your interpretation of my poem has made me feel more connected to it than I have in years. You didn't recite my words, but the emotions shone through. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It wouldn't be a poetry festival without someone causing a disturbance. Praxila, get to safety. I can handle them. You die here! Happens every year. I didn't know poetry fe Indeed. Ah, but... Praxila, it has... T when I heard... I... D Just as I don't... You're not dead? Thank you. Your voice would have made Odysseus tear himself from the mast of his ship. Who are you? What are you doing here? Speak before I cut you! Gods, how I've missed that temper. Cassandra? Is it really you? I got your note. How did you know I was in Arcadia? Everyone's hunting for the Mystios with the bro- No matter where I used to hide on Kefalonia, you were the only one who could always find me. That's because you were terrible at hiding. Maybe you only found me because I wanted you to. Listen, we both know I was the one who was best at hiding. I'll prove it. Stay here, close your eyes, and at the count of ten, come and find me. You're joking. Come, it'll be like old times. And no using Icarus, that's cheating. Now, close your eyes. Ena, dio, tria, tessera, pende, Exi, Efta, Octo, Enea, Deca! Ready or not, here I come! You call this hiding? Your tracking skills have improved. It feels like forever since we've seen each other. When did you become... Since I got your note. Oh, this is too much fun. And I want to hear about yours. No, my story. Your life sounds so ex. My breath? On Kefalonia, you could always swim farther and deeper than anyone else. You used to bring me the most beautiful treasures from the sea. Don't move. Oh, you were underwater so long, I was getting worried. I wasn't coming up for air until I found the perfect gift. It's beautiful. You warm my heart like the sunrise. Your heart isn't the only thing I could warm up. <laughs> Has that line ever worked for you? I guess not. <laughs> Anais? What's wrong? Seeing you... Playing and laughing like old times. There's something I haven't told you. I'm married. I see. I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. Meet me back at the house. I'll explain everything. Oh, I'm glad you came. So you're married? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Seeing you brought back so many fond men. Where did he go? Once the war started, Spartan... You have a son? Arion. <laughs> Why aren't we looking? He always goes to this. I don't think I've ever met him. Yes, of course. I... <laughs> Gods, no, he does All right. Thank you. How should I... Tell him you're a friend of his mother's from Kefalonia. The one with the... 
Is there anything about your Dantos? Broke his finger, working the fields. It healed crooked. When Arion asked about it, my husband said he was so strong. I'll find Arion. My husband used to take it. Wait. Yes. What is... Whoa! You look like a mighty warrior. And you must be Arion. I've come to bring you home. Why should I trust you? Your mother and I used to get into trouble back on Kefalonia. Kefalonia? We'd sneak into the markets, grab as much cheese and grapes and bread as we could carry. My eagle Icarus kept watch and warned us if there was anyone coming. You're Cassandra the eagle bearer? <laughs> Your mother trusted me with a very important task of escorting you home through this dangerous forest. But I don't want to leave. I know you come here to be close to your father. You know nothing about my pattern! I know when you were a baby, you broke his finger with the strength of Heracles. Pater's fingers were big and tough. That's why I trained. To make these hands strong like his. I understand. But first we need to leave this cave. The wolves are getting hungry. They never eat me! They're my friends! Uh, yes, your friends. Let's go anyway. Your mother misses you very much. If I do, could you teach me to be a mighty warrior? We'll see. Now come. There you both are! She killed my friends, Mater! Oh, Cassandra, why? You told her about me, Mater. She knew things. I did. She wanted to know all about you, so you weren't scared of going with her. I wasn't scared. I was brave. Thank you for bringing him home. What are you smiling about? I was just thinking about how I could possibly repay you for bringing Arion home to me. I'm sure I could think of a few things. <laughs> Name your price, Mistios. All this time together, and you haven't shown me where you sleep. <laughs> I'll show you a better spot, but we won't be sleeping. <laughs> your appetite is insatiable. <laughs> You've awakened a part of me I thought I'd lost. I know you've already done so much for me, but if there's just one more thing you could do... I'm not sure I can stand up. Arion wants to be a mighty warrior, but I can't lose any more of my family to war. If Arion learns to fight, he can protect you and the farm. I can't work this farm alone. He won't listen to me, but he looks up to you. I can see it in his eyes. I'll talk to him. But I don't think he's as fond of me as you are. You flatter yourself. Just show him how to plant seeds. Burn some old grass, maybe slaughter a few chickens. It will seem more exciting coming from you. Hello, Ario. Go away. I'm not talking to you. You don't have to talk, but you should listen. Hmm. I lost my father when I was young. I ran far, far away. My only friend in the world was Icarus. One day, a bully threw a rock and nearly broke his wing. What did you do? I cut off his fingers. With this. The Spear of Leonidas? Can I hold it? You can. But first, I need you to do me a favor. Your mother needs you. You're going to train me to be a mighty warrior? I will. I think you'd both benefit from having someone around here who can fight. Uh, I'm going to be the fiercest warrior you've ever seen. I'll cut my enemies into pieces. Stay close and pay attention. I won't have you injuring yourself. First, a warrior must be resolute in their decision to kill. 
When you're face to face with the enemy, you cannot hesitate. Hesitation hastens the grave. My mother taught me that. How often should I train? All day, every day. And when your hand starts to bleed, switch hands. What weapon should I use? For now, we're going to find you a wooden sword. This should do. If you're going to learn to fight, you need to use all your senses to anticipate your enemy's every move. How am I supposed to know that? By taking in the enemy before you and trusting your instincts. Watch. I'm going to swing at you from the right side. I want you to defend yourself. Okay. I'm ready. Very good. I blocked the eagle banner. I'm the greatest warrior who ever lived. Don't get cocky. The moment a warrior gets too proud is the moment they get cut down. This time I'm going to attack you from the left. Bring it on. You lied to me. And you're not paying attention. Don't let what you hear distract you from what's actually happening right in front of you. What happened to the bully whose fingers you cut off? He went and got his brothers. They beat me pretty badly. You didn't have any friends to protect you? Not until one little girl stood between me and those boys, and with the rage of Ares, screamed at them to leave me alone. Really? A girl? Ooh. That little girl was me. Whoa, Mater! Cassandra taught me to be a mighty warrior like you. She did what? I did what I thought was best. Best for who? You? Best for both of you. Anyone can learn to use a plow. But with the tools I gave him, he can... <laughs> He can go to war and die like his father. Like my husband. I know you've been through a lot. But you can't protect the boy by living in the past. I, I thought bringing you here would help us have a better future. I, I thought if you showed an interest in the farm, he'd get excited and maybe give up on becoming a warrior. It was wrong of me to put that burden on your shoulders. I'm sorry. It's been nice having you around, Cassandra. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this. Just... There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in the year. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. Anais must have a lifetime supply of olives stashed here. I'm going to be a mighty warrior like you when I grow up. So this is where Anais keeps her wine. It smells strong. I'm getting lightheaded just sniffing it. Anais never told me she made honey. Let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? The merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision-making to you. Remember when we used to steal food from the markets of Kefalonia? We could steal from this one. For old time's sake. Oh, always the troublemaker. Never on next shot. Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. 
Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. This woman is a single mother who runs her own farm. She likes her wine strong. <laughs> you know me too well. Strong wine is the best wine. Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow-cooked goat stew. Oh, decisions, decisions. We'll take the lamb with olives, please. Oh, I love olives. I'm going to devour this meal. And then I'm going to devour you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? <gasps> Yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. The pears sound delicious. Homer called them gifts from the gods, but it's the honey that makes them truly divine. Tonight was perfect. You knew exactly what I wanted. Now, tell me what it is that you want. Let me show you. Mater! Mater! You're not going to believe it! What is it, Arion? Bandits attacked the house! But I found one of Pater's old swords and did everything Cassandra taught me! And I scared them away because I'm a warrior like the mighty Eagle Bearer! That's incredible, Arion. You... You know how this happens. I'm right every time, but you never want to admit it. Oh, Go please. Back to one. I know you're dying to say I told you so. It's written all over your face. Guess it's why I'm not an actor. Cassandra, there is something I need to tell you. Anything? Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped you were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. How nice. Please let me finish. The fact you taught Arion to fight, when I explicitly asked you not to, shows me you're not the partner I'm looking for. But he fought off those bandits. He could have been injured or worse. I understand. And it's okay. You felt you knew what was better for my son. And maybe you're right. But I'm looking for someone I can trust wholeheartedly. But I love you. I've always loved you. I know. And I loved you, too. But I think it would be best if Arion and I moved on with our lives, stopped living in the past and started building our future. Parting as friends, then? Of course. We will always be friends. Say goodbye to Arion for me. I will, Eagle Bearer. Come here. What is it? So Merc, calling himself the Eagle Bearer, came to Alponos, offering to help. I don't know who's been using my name. But you're going to tell me everything you know. What is there to tell? He came in, had some little bird with him. You know how legends go. One day he gets a bird, next he's called the child of Zeus. She, and I do have an eagle. I see that now, don't I? But I paid this other eagle bearer a small fortune to get the villagers ready for a pirate invasion. By the look on your face, I'm guessing that didn't work out. It didn't. Then I sent him to bargain peace, but he botched that too. The pirates are coming, and we don't stand a chance. Next time, hire the real Eagle Bearer. But I'm listening. Does the village of Alponos have a militia? Not enough. But if you get out there... I'll stop the pirates from reaching you. I'll help you kill him my... Where are the... How big... I'm going to... He... Time to show the... What were you thinking? We're doomed! The pirates are Poseidon's problem now. What have you done? Didn't you hear me screaming? You sunk our reinforcements! You didn't say anything about reinforcements. You said pirates. 
Oh. I sent a message to the supply ships to disguise. If I'd known they were reinforced, there's still time. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do. So, the... tell me. Tell me. The villagers will. So, ready for battle. The villagers. I. It's. I got the. Sound. With a strong mysterious at my side, we'll have weapons before nightfall. Excellent work. I am what? The eagle something said my tools and the bad eggs who stole them are western here. Evil bearers! You sent me! Common thugs want old tools. I've got your tools. <sighs> By the gods. I've seen a lot in my life, but that was brutal. Poor That's... That's not good. If it is in trap, I can not. Where the? I need to find it. I'll get. Princess <laughs> Purple Pie, you're back safe. Here you go. When the real eagle bearers. There, there, Princess Purple Pie. Eat up. Let it flow through you. What are you doing? The first of you eagle bearers rode uh. east to find this fruit. Said that the horse that eats it turns into Pegasus. Leave it to the gods to hide it in plain sight. The eagle bearer obviously lied to you. Don't believe me? For how much I paid, this fruit has to be real. Here, watch this. Wait! Fly, Pegasus, fly! Uh. I think it's all right. I knew it. It's ancient, but it's... Whatever you say. I don't know about wars. Then I'm bringing you back. Didn't you hear? I'm the... You don't look anything like the other eagle bearer. Are you two a team or something? There is no other eagle bearer. He's an imposter. Like you. If I'm an imposter, what am I doing with Ajax's, I mean, my helmet? That's Ajax's helmet? But of course, it gives the wearer immortality. I paid the other eagle bearer a fortune to find its whereabouts for me. Then I set off to retrieve it as any hero would. I was on my way back when... There is no other eagle bearer. Get that through your thick helmet. People of Alponos, rise from your salt mills. Descend from the white crystal hills. Locris is under attack. The great Ajax has returned, now with a true child of Zeus, Faria Eagle Bearer. You are not Ajax, and that new Eagle Bearer boosts sweet Nikia off a cliff with a general stee. Nonsense! I am Ajax Reborn, and we will now prove to you I am immortal. Enough! Prepare yourself, Locrians. You must choose to stand and fight, or let the pirates invade and destroy your homes. This'll be easier than I thought. Now, light me on fire. What? It's okay. This is a magical helmet. The other eagle bearer told me it will protect me. 
You light the fire, the people will see I'm immortal, and then they will eat out of our hands. I am not lighting you on fire. That old helmet isn't magical. And you're not Ajax. How dare you? The last eagle bearer humiliated me in front of everyone, and now you're too. No more. I will not be <laughs> again. Back just in time. How's Nikia? I heard she's trained a stallion for me. Nikia's dead. She thought your horse was Pegasus and rode it right off a cliff. She what? All right. We don't need horses to fight if we have weapons. How many has Calipides made? Calipides had an accident. What kind of accident? The really bad kind. He didn't see some stone blocks. He Walked right into them and... Enough! Without weapons, we are doomed. We haven't even talked about Ajax yet. Did you find him? Ajax had this uh, helmet that he thought would make him immortal. And? It didn't. Ah, Malaka. Tell me about it. I would ask literally anyone else. But what choice do I have? I... Let's go. Not a lot of people would have been honest with me the way you were. I respect that. I just hope there's still a chance we can make this right. I will do everything I can to save these people. You fought well. As did you. Forget what happened before. We're alive because of you. No need to thank me, Megaclis. I'm just glad the people of Alponos are safe. You may not want thanks, but you deserve it. I promised everything in the treasury and that's what you're getting. Now I need to find my impersonator. I can help. I found this note on the pirate leader. They owe him a lot of drachmi. He was hired to sabotage the town. Making invasion easier. Their plan would have worked if the real Eagle Bearer hadn't shown up. What will you do when you find him? I'll think of something. The actual Eagle Bearer. <laughs> that explains why the invasion failed. I've been stuck cleaning up your mess since I got here. What a glorious mess it was. When the pirates paid me to soften the town's defenses, I didn't think it would be so easy. People are dead because of you. I didn't kill anyone. But you did. We make a great team that way. I steal some tools or blow up an old man's forge. Send some young idiot into bandit-infested mountains, lose a general's steed, then watch you turn it into pure chaos. The fact that Megacles and the pirates both paid you is just a bonus. Everyone pays to hear lies they want to believe. Time for justice. May her wrath rain down on both of us. <laughs> Probably use this fort as a lookout. I thought I'd never get up. What? 
happened to this camp? Kere! You know, I see why you like going on these quests. The bandits don't even put up a fight. And there's wine! Tastes a bit off, though. Finally come to see a master at work, Varnavas? That's lotus flower wine. The bandits are drugged. Get you home. How are you feeling? That doesn't matter. You drank lotus flower, Varnavas. It makes people crazy. No! It was a divination! I'm certain! You're married? I thought I'd lost her a long time ago, but I saw her in my vision. She's alive! We just have to find her. I'll help you find her, but a vision isn't much to go on. There were three visions in the darkness of a forgotten cave. Lead up. About this. Right. So? So. See, she herself. You said Cyber. Persephone. This is ridiculous. Sirens aren't real. Of course they are. I've lost many sailors to their calls. If Lida is alive, I'll find her. By the gods, that smells good. These pigs look hungry. Welcome to my empire, traveler. I am a Tempiris, Kirki of the Oceanids. You... live here? Where are my manners? You must be weary after your long journey. There's some wine in my hold if you'd fetch it for us. I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. I could use a drink. I'll fetch the wine. You look deliciously thirsty. I don't know what evil ritual you performed on Lida, but I'll kill you for it, witch! My subjects will protect me. Kirki! I will rip you apart and feed you to your animals! <laughs> the witch kept a list of names... ...and trophies. This bracelet was worn by a Lida. About my leader, do you have any news? I found this bracelet. And a lot of pigs. I can explain. Lida had it and was transformed into a pig by Kirki. When she was turned back into a beautiful woman, she gave this to Kirki to remember her by. Right as always, old friend. Which means we're one step closer to finding Lida, I think. You think correctly! The gods would never lie! Aside from Volus, and the party, but never mind them. What is that sound? Are the sirens real? Navlos. Looks old. Please don't hurt us! I'm not going to hurt you, I will free you. What are you doing here? Uh, my whole life I heard tales of the siren song. A sound so sweet, men would gladly die to hear it. You have no idea how dull life is for a fisherman with a love of poetry and music. You chose to be here. I... I didn't know this is what I would find. By the time I realized, there was no escape. 
I found this off Los. What do you know about it? That one was special. They stole it from the woman who escaped. But that was a long time ago. This tomb is full of bloodthirsty women. Who are they? No one speaks. They drain my blood, then boil and drink it. In their rituals, they scream into the night. I'm so tired, but I never sleep. Please save me. So, what are you doing here? Uh, my whole life I heard tales of the siren. You can't stay here. Join my crew. A man named Varnavas will greet you on my ship. About my leader, do you have any news? I found this Avlos on a siren. If you could call her that. An Avlos? My wife always loved these. I bet she learned to play it alongside the sirens as they sung men to their deaths. Just like her. There were no sirens, just bloodthirsty priestesses. And this Avlos? It could be anybody's. Then how did we know where to look? It's a clue, and Persephone led us right to it. No closer, please! I'm not here to hurt you. Everyone hurt me, because look different. You're not the only one. I've been attacked my whole life for what I am. <sighs> you different, like me. Friends. Me Polyphemus. You... little. Sure. Little. Polyphemus, I'm looking for a woman who was here. No friend for a long time. You help make friend. Friend fish together. Pretty beach. Little... Little follow. Show beach where lady help Polyphemus. Polyphemus, this is important. Do you mean Lida? Silly little! Not Lida! Lady! Help Polyphemus! No one to hurt! <laughs> little thing, Polyphemus Cyclops! You're nothing like the Cyclops from Kefalonia. He had one real eye and one fake eye. He picked on Little. Pick on Little? <laughs> What do you do? <laughs> I shoved his fake eye up a goat's ass. <laughs> a little funny. <laughs> there, big guy. The beach is yours now to fish all you want. Little think beach pretty. It depends on who's looking at it. Sure. I think it's pretty. But still need friend to share. Polyphemus like poetry. I have the strength of ten warriors. I strong like Polyphemus! <laughs> Can Nothing makes me happier with friend! Polyph I wish I could be with my To the hurt inside, like Polyphemus, for you. This is beautiful, big guy. More gift for little spices from pretty green-eyed lady. Only gift Polyphemus ever got. This might be exactly what I was looking for. Only need. F I can't stay with you, big guy. Every lojos. This is Polyphemus. Polyphemus Evrilochus. To show you cave. Show me everything, my big friend. This is the grandest, most spectacular shore on which I've ever laid my weary eyes. 
I want to see it all. You little, but big heart. Uh, take this special gift. About my leader, do you have any news? In the cave I found a man. I took these spices from him. Ah, my leader. Do you think the man you found was a cyclops? Then she concocted an elixir from these spices and helped him to grow a second eye? Barnabas, there was no cyclops on Anafi any more than there was one on Kefalonia. Have faith, my friend. Lida was there. All that for a bracelet, an ovlos, and some spices. But look! I know this bracelet too well. The women of the Siege Plains wear them. These spices are native to the lands of Demeter. And this av- They're all from Attica. The cave! They're all around the one known as the entrance to the underworld. It can't be a coincidence. Is that where Lida is? There's only one way to know. Let's go. I know you've doubted me. I must have sounded like a crazed old fool, but you won't regret this. What matters is that we do this together, old friend. Now sail. So what does Lida look like? She was the most beautiful woman I've ever known. Beautiful dark hair and skin. Her green eyes sparkled like jewels. And when she drank, could she fight? Ah, she sounds fun. She was that and more, my young friend. So much more. It's been so long. I wonder if Lida would even recognize this old face. There are so many bodies. Is this the underworld? Cassandra! Stop! I'll kill you if you come any closer. Who sent you? Belenos? Adigles? Relax. We're here on our own. You haven't aged a day. Is this the underworld? Lida, it's me. Varnavas. That was my father's name. I never told it to anyone. Father? Young one, please. What was your mother's name? The same as mine. Lida Avitica. You were right, old friend. Lida survived, but not the way your visions told you. This is your daughter. Impossible. You have no proof. Young one, a lifetime ago, your mother and I sailed side by side. The night I lost my eye, a tempest overwhelmed us and ran us into the rocks. Lida was so brave. She roped together some of the splintered hole. I held her and I said, Don't stop paddling until you reach the shore. Oh, she, she told you this story. Good. After all this time, Matter said you were a king who died fighting the Idra. You need to know. Matter. She's... I understand. We'll grieve her together. I hate to interrupt, but Lida, you did threaten us with a blade. And there were bodies. After Matter died, I took over the farm. Ever since, suitors have tried to marry me for my fortune. When that didn't work, they decided it would be easier to kill me for it. You've been defending yourself. Let us help. These kind of people don't stop until they have what they want. You mentioned two names? Pelenos and Antigles. They both live nearby. I can show you where. Let's go together. 
Ah, with you by my side, we'll be unstoppable. Right. Together. Into battle. I will meet my leader again in the Golden Fields. Tell me, did she ever remarry? She did. He was a good man, kind to her and to me. Good! I pray to the gods that if she lived, she would live happily. The gods listened. My mother's farm and my life are safe. With all my heart, thank you, both and of you. And thank you for making this old man happy again. Now, about that wine! So now that you have your life back, what will you do with it? Honor my mother, protect our farm and our fortune. I was hoping you'd join your old pater on the Adrestia. The gods sent me a sign by bringing you back to me to save this place. I can't dishonor them and matter by leaving. Take it from someone who lost her family. This is not an opportunity that many people get. Go with your father. Pater, our farm is yours. One day, when you've sailed the world and want a stable home, you will have one here. But unless Demeter herself burns these silos down, I know I'm acting in the will of the gods. You all right? She's as strong as her mother. I couldn't be more proud. I only wish she'd change her mind. Maybe she will. In the meantime, whenever we sail past these lands, Let's make it a point to stop in and say here. Please, dear gods, can anyone help? Those outlaw swine... Divine winds have brought... Amazing. Please, friend. Point me... Pre I... I... Mr. Yos, you must recover my tools from the swine who stole them. I found your tools. I can't believe it. No, my friend. I am flesh and... Oh, well. At least those village... Lead me to... Ex How did you learn of this village? My doctrine on beauty is renowned. Village priestesses came to my home in Argos and begged me to come and fashion a figure for them. Ella, you came all the way from Argos? They offered good track me. It's not easy being an yeah. artist, you know. And what is the statue going to look like when you're done? Well, you, I suppose. Me? They worship the eagle bearer. They told me lots of stories. A pretty fair description, though I expected you to be taller and to have a smaller nose. This theory of yours, who determines what is beautiful? Math. Math? Exactly. Beauty is an equation derived from the commensurability of all the parts of the body. Mm. From finger to finger. Yeah. Fingers to the palm and wrist. Those to the forearm and the forearm to the upper arm. And like that, to include the whole of the body. Huh. Moth. Gratitude, friend. Good Polyclitos. Priestess Ex... Who is this? I'm Cassandra. The mysterious you told me about. The eagle bear. Glad to visit. Certainly you jest. Your deed... And soon there will be... A ...to have our pay... You do me a great honor. 
I am pleased to... Oh, thank you, Ingelbert. Tell me their names. And... Uh, who is the... What can you tell me? Priest... I will see... Not my people, Divine Eagle, but my sisters. Kere! Are you really the... I have descended from the height... Amazing! A ble I'll hear no more... I have shamed myself. Normally I hunt for my family and... You are not at fault. My daughter Mirto in... I'll find her. You must be Akatos' daughter, Mirto. Yes? Who are you? I'm Cassandra. The eagle batter? These woods can be dangerous for common folk. Your father grew worried at your absence and begged me to find you and keep you safe. I can't believe it. I hope you aren't disappointed in me. No, child. You honor your father. I've tried to follow his lessons, but hunting is hard. I've had no luck getting the special deer meat he wants. I'm worried he'll be so disappointed in me. With a strong teacher like your father, I'm sure you know more than you think. Stay close to me, and maybe I can give you a few tips. Thank you. You are so kind. The trick to hunting is to find a spot where deer trails cross, and to stand quietly downwind. I just said the same thing. I can try to check the wind. Quiet. There we go. Dear neck for your father. See? Hard, but you can do this. You are amazing. I've learned so much. I will get the rest of the meat your father needs. Why don't you head home and tell Akatos what you've learned? I will. Thanks. Eagle. Cassandra, did you find enough meat? Providing for you is a simple task. Enjoy my bounty and share it with your village. Cassandra hunts like Artemis herself. Show respect, child. Yes, Pater. It was my pleasure. Be well. By... By the gods! It's... It's you! Yes, well, it certainly is me. You are a... You... You know me! You... Tell me what happened. I was herding my flock when... It was... Did you get hurt? No. I did? I can... I can look for your daughter. Oh, fair. Where were you at... I... Tell me it, uh, I'll look Remarkable that a wolf dragged this bag here. Almost like it was driven. Here is the totem. Glorious eagle bearer. The priestess said you burned the wolves from the forest with the fire from Ephestos Forge. How did she know that? She divines the signs of your adventures from the sacred flames. She said you found my totem. It was luck that I was able to find it. The wolves had dragged it deep into their den. Here you go. Gratitude, eagle bearer. Would you bless it for me? You don't need my blessing. Just watch the world around you. And you can call me Cassandra. Thank you, eagle... Cassandra. Why have you forsaken me, Eagle Bearer? What have I done to offend all the powers on Olympus? How can I redeem myself? Forsaken you? I don't think we've ever met. Eh? Who? You? You? Yes, me. T tell me what's wrong. I have been cursed by the gods. They speak to me all day and night, feeling my... Why did the gods curse you? I do not know what I did. I've heard the voices of the gods, day and night. What is the curse? The gods speak of terrifying things. I'll take a look around the farm and see if I can find out what has befallen you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You are of Olympus. They will listen to you. Perhaps. But first, I must deter... The water in this pot reeks like the sticks. Maybe the disease is seeping into the water. This seems like an earthly cause, not a sign of the gods. These vases were dedicated to the gods. If Menalcas broke them, the gods might be angered. Demeter and Dionysus might have sickened his crops and polluted his mind. Look at this little guy. 
These offerings look abandoned and long neglected. Not a good way to honor Demeter or Zeus. Huh. These crops stink. Could that drought affect the mind? Huh. I wonder if all the crops in the silo are the same. Menalkes is a sad case. Thinks he's been cursed by the powers that be. I told him that. Why ridiculous? Because if you wanted to punish him, you'd just smite him or have an eagle fly down and eat his eyes or the like. Hmm? I wouldn't. Of course not. You're the eagle bearer. Arrow of Artemis. Shield of Athena. Child of Zeus. Not the mistress of blighted crops. That's beneath you. So Menalcas's problems are caused by... Some kind of sickness in the crops. That's what's making him crazy. I think I've seen everything. Is Menalcas affected by the gods, or is there a more earthly cause to his illness? I should talk to him. Eagle bearer, do you know why the gods have cursed me? I think some infestation has taken root in your crops and is polluting your mind. What do we do? How do we appease the gods? This has nothing to do with the gods. I will set fire to the silo where you keep your harvest and burn out the rot to clear your mind. I... I hope you are right, Eagle Bearer. All that work, gone to smoke. No one said it would be easy. It had to be done. I confess, I do feel a bit better already. Thank you for all your help and guidance. I think that's everyone Priestess Exioni mentioned. Time to find her again. <sighs> Wondrous Eagle Bearer. Your name and glory drop from every- If you insist. However, there is one more who could benefit from your attention. I'll keep you frets about her brother. Ah, here she is now. Speak to her, reassure her, and then we will celebrate. By the gods, it's you. It's me. It's you. By the gods, my prayers are answered. Speak to the eagle bearer, my child. You have come to help me. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ah, yes, of course. It's my brother, Kalistratos. He's... Go on. Your brother? My brother's farm is a small way from the village. What are we doing here? I think something might... I'll take a look for you. Thank you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You're too kind, too generous, too nice. Thank you. What can you tell me about your brother? Kalistratos always tries some new scheme or crazy idea. His last one was to breed chickens that would... What do you think happened to Kalistratos? I don't know. Maybe a lion or wolf got into the farm. Where is your brother's farm? He has a large farmstead, northeast. I'll visit your brother's farm and see what's going on. Mistyos who saved your life? You could say thanks. Huh. Not sure you had to kill my best chickens, though. Watch your tongue, little man. I came on behalf of your sister, who showed proper respect. Don't make me angry. So tell her I'm fine already. Hmm. Maybe I can get a goat from Masara and catch a lion and breed them somehow. Maybe with a snake. I'm sure I could make a fortune. Halkipi, your brother is... something else. But he's alive and, I suppose, well... Thank you, Eagle Bearer. Yes, <laughs> he is a difficult one. But you have answered my prayers. I will always be your devoted servant. Ah... Uh... The priestesses have begun preparing a great feast in your honor for all of Linu to celebrate you. It will be magnificent. Cassandra, Calamity, Merto has been struck down by illness. Take me to her. The girl was thrilled about the idea of the festival to honor you. She was rushing about, buzzing with excitement. 
when she suddenly collapsed. Please, Egulberg, can you do anything for her? Did anyone see anything? Does she have any wounds? No, no insect or snake bites, but her brow burns with fever. What was Mirto doing when she got sick? She was preparing a meat you brought in for the festival, per the priestess's instruction. Where is Priestess Exioni now? I don't know. I overheard her calling out for help, telling people not to be scared, but she's vanished. That's strange behavior. I'll ask around and see if anyone else knows anything, and see if I can't find the priestess. Greyhair, where can I find the priestess Exioni? You must know. The priestess and her sisters have a secluded retreat. None know where it is, for it is hidden from common eyes. I cannot say more for risk of offending them, or you. Those women do not speak for me. Tell me now, or I'll get angry. Yes, yes! They appear from and retreat to a secret den, past the border to Elise. Time to have words. <laughs> Exioni, why did you flee from the village? I left to consult with my sisters. We needed to understand why the poor girl was struck down. Did Lenu offend the divine eagle bearer somehow? Or are we being tested by greater powers of Olympus? <sighs> are the gods testing our faith? Or yours? I don't want to play games. Please, tell me what you know so I can save Mirto. <laughs> of course, beloved eagle bearer. We want the same. We prayed for an answer, and it was delivered. In the sacred cave, there is a plant that can save her, but it is too dangerous for us mere mortals to descend into. I'll go get it. <laughs> Why Zeus? That's a beast! The priestesses expect me to become bear shit? First the bell. I get the feeling the priestesses were hoping for a martyr god, and not a pissed off Mystios. Got it. Wait. This plant is nothing but pig feed. It won't do anything. Malaka! You're here! You're alive! Very much so. And angry. You better have an antidote for poor Mirto, or else. <sighs> or what? Shut your lying, filthy mouths! You poisoned Mirto to try to hurt me. And then when I found you, you tried to feed me to a cursed bear! Yes! No! We didn't mean it! Didn't mean it? You lying Malakis, you've got Linu wrapped around your fingers, and you're living fat off the villagers in my name! It's true! So true, your divinity! I am not a god, you thieving swine! Give me the antidote for Mirto, or I'll split your heads open! Now, be gone! I have the medicine for Mirto. Quick, let's give it to her. Cassandra? Shh, rest. You did it. That was close. You need to talk to the villagers. Look inside yourselves. You'll know that I'm no god, and you can live for yourselves. Maybe you are right. Still, you saved my daughter. I'll never forget that. Thank you, Eagle Bearer, for giving us the courage to stand on our own. When I eventually finish your statue, it will be a reminder to the village of your message, and a guide for them to do for themselves. <laughs> <laughs>